um, high pitch voice or have a really soft voice, you need to be loud. You need to be really, really loud. Um, and girls specifically. <laughs> Hello everybody, Dream Team here, aka Alex from Dream PT Coaching. Um, today I want to do a follow-up video to one of the speaking videos that I posted a few weeks back uh, with our team. So that one got a lot of feedback because a lot of people really struggle in speaking. Something that we addressed in the past video is oral fluency, which is if you haven't seen the previous video already, go watch it right now. Um, but another thing I want to address is pronunciation. <clears throat> so usually people that struggle the most with pronunciation are ladies or gentlemen that are very quiet. The reason why originally when the PT exam came out, what they typically do, they typically take recording or the voice sample of somebody who, let's say, is if you're from Nepal, they take a voice recording of somebody who's from Nepal who got 19 speaking before. What they do is they compare your pronunciation to their pronunciation, right? Obviously, it makes sense because it wouldn't be fair to compare somebody from Nepal or India or Pakistan or Sri Lanka to a native English speaker when it comes to the speaking section. So they try to match your accent based on somebody who's from your same country as you who got really uh, good in, in pronunciation. The issue is, in the beginning, uh, when the PT exam just came out, when it was new, they only had the voice samples of guys. So a lot of girls uh, would go take the exam and right away they'd fail speaking section. And if you fail the speaking section, you fail the whole exam usually. So um, what happened, the reason why is a lot of you ladies specifically, you have very high pitch, very innocent, very angelic voices and the computer does not record it so well. It records better basses, right? So that's why guys who have a really deep voice, let's say you're a girl and you're sitting there doing the exam and you go, uh, the picture in front of me is a graph and it's providing a, a representation of a... And then the Justin, the, who's got a deep voice, he's sitting next to you and he's going, uh, what I see in front of me is a bar graph and it's showing me the percentage of population in urban areas and it measures the years 1950 to 2000 for men and women, blah, 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 right? So obviously if you have a very soft voice, a very quiet voice, and then you have Justin with this really manly deep voice, it's going to record his voice better than yours and yours is not going to register properly at, at all so those of you guys have taken the exam uh, before you know 10 in PT is the equivalent of zero you cannot go lower than 10 I've had a few people that uh, get 11 15 20 pronunciation with that kind of pronunciation you're not going to pass the exam if you want 80 plus in speaking you need to have a pronunciation of at least 45 or 50 so those of you that are getting 20s or 15s a few things could be the reason first one is the microphone positioning which I'm going to cover in a second and the second thing is, is your voice, specifically your pitch of voice. So for girls or even the guys who have really high, um, high pitch voice or have a really soft voice, you need to be loud. You need to be really, really loud. Um, and girls specifically need to speak deeper. So what I mean is, let's say, um, you know when you get really nervous for something or you get really excited and you start having like short breath, right? And you're speaking from here, you're not speaking from here and your voice is high pitched. So I go, uh, the picture in front of me is a graph and it's showing me that the percentage of population in urban regions, and right? Whereas if you relax or when you wake up in the morning, right? Your voice is usually deeper. So this is what you have to do. First thing you have to do, you have to breathe from your stomach, right? So you go, the picture in front of me is a bar graph and it's showing me and you have to force your voice to be a little bit lower in the pitch. So instead of going, this picture is a graph, this picture is a graph, so almost like a more manly voice. And I know it sounds really bad. I know it's awkward to do. It's probably strenuous on your on your throat, on your uh, vocal glands. But you only have to do it for 30 minutes, and then you can pass your exam. First thing to get back to it in terms of microphone positioning, and this is really really crucial. A lot of people put it too far away over here, or they put it over here, or they put it over here. So all of these places are the wrong places to put the microphone. On the uh, exam date, you'll see the microphone they use is a little bit shorter, but here's the basic positioning. So first thing is, your mic has to be the same level as your mouth, right? But you cannot put it directly in front because what happens when you put it directly in front, the sound gets distorted. So whenever people speak loud and you play back the sound, it almost sounds like, <laughs> like the speaker almost sounds like it's cracking. So if this is how it's recorded, that's how it's played back, the words that the computer's understanding are gonna be distorted. So microphone has to be same level as your mouth, but it has to be a little bit to the side. So it has to be a little bit to the side. You wanna have roughly three or four fingers between your mouth and your face. So if I was to put my palm, and I actually want you to do this right now, put your hand in front of your face and speak something. And what are you gonna notice? You're gonna notice the breath. You're gonna notice the vibration from your voice on your palm. So if that same tap happens, the same thing happens to the microphone, the sound will get distorted, your pronunciation will drop. So again, microphone on the exam, it snaps into place. So it has to be the same level as your mouth, but not directly in front. You wanna have it a little bit to the side. So roughly three to four fingers between your face and the mic. So if you do it like this, you're loud, you talk nonstop. And if you're a girl, again, you need to speak a little bit deeper, almost a little bit more manly, you will see your pronunciation uh, will, will jump through the roof. 
So guys, a lot of these videos have been useful to people and there's a huge team around us that's helping put this together. Um, Justin, the video guy, we have Shan, who is the director of the company, Usman as well, and Sir Umar, who is the creator of the company and who provides all the materials and all these strategies. So um, I just want to thank everybody for watching and I want to give feedback back to our team. It's a group effort. Uh, please give me your, your comments in the comment section of the video. It really helps us a lot to know what more you need to work on, what kind of value we can provide. Give us some feedback, subscribe, give us a like, and don't forget to watch more of the videos. Stay tuned. See you guys soon. Really grateful. Bye-bye.